now the updated firmware has been installed and I've gone into the fly and then it's giving me a disclaimer about the DJI AirSense aerial sensor alert system. So we'll go ahead and enable that. All right, and now I'm gonna click the back arrow and then you're gonna to wanna to pull this battery and put in your next battery and update the firmware on the battery and then the same for the third. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm just gonna give a short press and a long press to turn this one off. And then you push the two buttons on the side to release the battery. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get the second battery. Put that in, short press, long press. Turn it on. Now if this doesn't, once it connects, if it doesn't automatically give you a firmware update. Okay, it's now it's kicked into the fly screen, so we can go ahead and go ahead and back out of there. And let's see, okay, so it's not giving us a firmware update here, but you can press profile. And then settings, check for firmware updates. New firmware, new firmware is available, so we're going to go ahead and update that. And update. Okay, now it's just this is already at 70% because it's just updating this battery now, and then you'll do the same thing for your third battery. And if you had bought any other batteries, you would do the same thing for those as well. So now we're going to wait for this firmware to update. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the last one, and then I'll be back. Now when I did this battery update, it says the firmware update was successful. And if it doesn't restart on its own automatically, go ahead and restart the device. So before I do my third battery, I'm going to go ahead and restart the radio and then I'm not going to worry about restarting this battery and I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off and I, I don't think I need to worry about restarting that but you know what I will just go ahead and check see what uh it shouldn't make a difference I'm just going to X out of there. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and cut it off and put in the third battery. And then we'll go from there. Be right back. Now on my third battery, it did give me the update notification on the screen. So we can go ahead and update that. And same thing, it's starting at 70%. And going through from there now I did have to power off the controller and power it back on and then once this is done we should be good to go and the last thing you need to do before you go fly your drone is register it uh, with FAA just like you would any other drone over 250 grams so you'll log in if you don't already have a FAA log in you'll need one and you can go ahead and log into their website and go ahead and register this drone with them and then I can uh, show you how to go over that as well now before I register with the FAA it is showing me that the fly stay fly safe also requires an update so we're going to go ahead and do that so we're going to click update and that's going to download the update for the fly safe and then after that, get the FAA registration so you can get your tail number and then you're ready to fly. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.